was tired, unhealthy, and I couldn't do the things I love. West Medical and Foothill Regional's innovative weight loss procedure can change your life. I lost 132 pounds. My A1C is down to a 5. I feel healthy, energetic, and most importantly, I got my life back. Plus, my insurance paid for my procedure. Call 1-800-WESTMED for a free consultation and PPO insurance verification. I feel incredible because I called 1-800-WESTMEDICAL. Idol is the number one most social entertainment program. Yeah! With 401 million views. You did it to perfection. You are a star. Thank you. American Idol, new Sunday on ABC. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Now at 4.30, a possible strike could close LAUSD schools for at least three days. Details on negotiations set to resume today. Plus a husky stuck on a steep hillside near a popular hiking trail. How the dog was rescued. And a live look outside this morning in downtown LA. Enjoy the nice weekend because we are tracking more rain heading our way next week. Good morning to you. The time is 4.30. I'm Rachel Brown. I, I thought you said we're having more rain. <laughs> more Did you rain. say more rain? More rain. I can't believe it. Yeah, uh, uh, more rain. Yeah, I'm John Gregory. Leslie Sykes is <laughs> off this morning. Brianna, we'd rather more rain. Not talk Are about you kidding it? me? <laughs> you can blame me. You can get mad at me. This it's just fine. goes on. It's an incredible yep. winter, man. We usually give you the good news in the weather department in Southern California, <laughs> and unfortunately, I feel like people are just getting a little mad at us. It's recently. not your fault. We know that. <laughs> I know. I wish I had better news, but I do for two days. It's today and tomorrow, and that's some warmer weather, and we are even looking at some 70s for tomorrow. So that will be beautiful, and then we have some rain in the forecast again. So another storm next week, and it's going to bring rain as early as Sunday, so I'll get to that and let you know if it could affect your weekend at all. Downtown LA right now, it's really nice. We have a cloudy start. We do have some fog out there too. We saw it yesterday. We even saw a little drizzle get squeezed out as well. 50 degrees over into downtown LA right now. And then taking you into this afternoon, we're looking at a lot of mid 60s and even some upper 60s for some spots. So it'll be feeling pretty nice. 65 in downtown Los Angeles, mid 60s for inland Orange County and the valleys and the inland empire. The beach is at about 61, 47 for the mountains and about 64 degrees for the high desert. All right, we'll let you know what to expect this weekend and in terms of this next storm next week, that's all coming up. Scott Reif now with a look at your traffic this morning. How's it going, Scott? Uh, you know, not bad. I mean, most of our freeways are Friday light and they look great, so we're happy about that. We do have one traffic alert that just popped up, an ABC7 traffic alert in San Bernardino. We'll show you on the map. Now, it's on the 210 freeway eastbound. If you travel that eastbound 210 towards State Street, the two left lanes are blocked. It was a crash here. What worries us is a fuel spill. It takes a while to mop that up or clean that up, I should say. So 210 eastbound, we're starting to see a bit of a delay. There's not a lot of volume eastbound through there, uh, but the two left could be shut down for some time as they try and clean that up. Rachel, John? Okay, Scott, thank you. Negotiations are set to resume this morning to try and avert a strike that would close all LAUSD schools. Yeah, Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robles live in the newsroom with those details. Mark. Yeah, John, Rachel, good morning. The strike, should it happen, it would begin this coming Tuesday, so there is time to resolve any differences at the bargaining table. To clarify, this is not a teacher strike. The 30,000 employees threatening to go on strike have various jobs. They are cafeteria workers, bus drivers, custodians, special education assistants, and other workers. The union representing them declared an impasse in its bargaining with the district and plans to cancel its existing contract, prompting the potential three-day strike. According to the district, a strong offer has been made. It includes several wage increases. We spoke to Superintendent Alberto Carvalho. He said the district is prepared to improve its offer. He also said he understands the impact this could have on learning. I apologize uh, for the potential impact that this strike will have on parents. To keep them out of school again is not something we have to do, particularly when I'm appealing directly to the union and asking them to return to the table and continue to negotiate. The union officials have said the affected workers earn an average salary of $25,000 a year, adding that they are fed up with short staffing and being harassed for speaking up. Superintendent Carvalho has urged the union to stay at the bargaining table until an agreement is reached. Though fiscal responsibility has also been mentioned, the superintendent saying the general fund is not a flexible budget reserve. The district cannot go bankrupt. Again, a new round of negotiations begins today. Live in the newsroom, Mark Cutter-Robles, 
ABC 7 Eyewitness News. John, over to you. Okay, Mark, thank you. A highly contagious norovirus outbreak forcing one Long Beach Elementary School to close today. The Long Beach Health Department directed the school district to close Carver Elementary. This is in East Long Beach. The school's been battling a norovirus outbreak since the end of February with at least 130...